I'm all right, thank you. Yikes. Are you all right? You two are dodge. I'm going to go all out. Let's edge. I really like how high. Me too, Fiora. All right, I'm feeling it. Fire. I can't. Ugh. Go on. My rival is getting hotter. Wake up. Right. Kill it's not over. Fire. No way. We can definitely do this. Uh, this is the Monado's power! Come on, barrier! This is going well. No, Ayah. don't give up. No way! Uh. 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 No. Take this. Okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. That's right, Thor. Come on! We can do it! Looks like it's no problem. We've got to cool off. Double blade! Okay! All right! I'm feeling it! Uh. I'm feeling it. Watch out! Shulk, are you serious? Give me some space! Yeah. Things are really heating up! Go, Sala! Everything is... Gone ten times out! I won't miss next time! Sala! Better than next time! Thanks! Ah. This isn't going well! Wait! Don't rush off! No. Yeah. We can definitely Here take it! Clear! Go on! Don't give up, Shulk! Right. My rifle's getting it's not over. This is the Monado's power! You're not invincible! Monado! Enchant! Go! Shadow up! Gone blurry! Sorry, it's my fault. Backslash! Let's give it all! Cover fire! Saw it coming. Fiora! You two are dodge! I'm gonna go all out! Monado, lend us some power! Everything is fucking I hope you can see me. Sorry. That was a close one. I don't think we can carry on like this. I thought we were done for. And hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we fell towards this big hand on the ground. Yeah. Yes, we did. Uh, a few things I wanted to address right off the bat. Uh, so most recently episode 17 has gone up. Yes, I'm recording a bit more ahead than I typically have just because I have a particularly long weekend. And uh, I felt like it. Uh, one, I wanted to note, most importantly, uh, a lot of people are starting to... The amount of people suggesting that I have certain characters play certain ways is increasing, at the very least, over time. I appreciate your insight, uh, and I will take the lessons learned from them and whatnot. I do appreciate that aspect of it, but I, I will note, I believe I said this before, and I'm not sure if I said it before that episode went on, but I'm the sort that finds a lot more interest in any gameplay system that has me, or lets me, develop something in my head and what makes sense, and it's fun uh, because of that. Less so being absolutely as efficient as possible. I am not a min-maxer. I'm not someone who likes min-maxing. I'm someone who likes developing ideas in my head and seeing them come to fruition. Sometimes it involves being efficient, sometimes it doesn't. Whichever way for me makes it more fun, basically. So I just want to re-emphasize that for you guys out there. I'm not the sort of per like, I, I like the gameplay system. It's, it's fun and there's a lot of depth to it. But I'm not a min-maxer. I will re-emphasize that. Uh, I also think in that particular episode, there's a misinterpretation of what I said about skill links. I don't remember exactly what I said, but people were telling me like, Oh no, you get the abilities from all the skill trees and whatnot. And I know that. I think if I was talking about anything, I think I was talking about these. Right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, at the time. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not... It's the typical thing. I still have people recommending for me to go back and get Melia's thing in the tomb, and I got that, like, the first time I went through there, so... Obviously, people are watching bits and parts of episodes and making suggestions and whatnot, so... It is what it is and stuff like that, so... Yeah. Uh... I, I... 
I'm getting in the habit of just writing down notes to start off an episode with, just because there's things I think of, or um, other things I just want to talk about at the beginning, stuff like that. The things I think of, like particularly during editing, because I went and edited, uh, I've edited everything before this at this point now. Uh, Ricky's entire character. Ricky is a weird one. Like I've sort of wrote him off as just like not at much of a character. He's just sort of there. But I think there's a better way to frame his involvement. He's like a dad. He's like the dad to the like the silly. He's like that silly dad to the group who's always making dad jokes, but is like looking out for everyone at the same time. Like he's just around to make sure everyone gets through their troubled times. He's not really particularly involved in the problems people are going through. It's like everyone in the group is a troubled teenager, and he's the dad who's just like pushing them in the right direction at times. <laughs> so I so I sort of uh I, I can I'm sort of seeing him like that at the moment, and that is making me like him more. Uh, another note, uh, fuckface, because who cares what his real name was? Uh, he's alive, maybe idea. We fell. He also fell. Uh, we didn't see him get impaled by that thing. So there's the possibility he might come back. Just a thought that came to mind when I was editing the episode and I saw everyone fall and we were alive. It's like, huh, maybe. Another thought that I had was, so obviously there's some other entity inside Fiora, right? Whoever that might be. When I was editing, I, I remembered that scene back at Prison Island where Zanza and what was the other entity were basically talking. So I almost wonder if Zanza might be in shock at the moment in that same, you know, capacity. And maybe that's why he's able to use the Monado Unbound. Yeah? Uh, another thing I noticed while editing uh, in particular was there's a quick cut to when they're talking about Aegil. And now that I've seen these, uh, Maki yeah, Machina uh, guys. Uh, now that I edited that after seeing these guys, the quick cut actually does look like one of them. Uh, it's not really, really clear, because it's at a weird angle, but you know. Uh, one more thing I want to note, just in general. I've had multiple people recommend that I go back and rewatch cutscenes. I'm already editing cutscenes. I think that's giving me enough double exposure to stuff in the first place. Um... I'm not really one to, like, want to go back and just try to, like, look in, in, like, during the past stuff. It's like, oh, what was that? What was that? Between that and people, like, reminding me stuff in the comments, I think going back and looking over stuff is overkill. I'd rather just experience through, uh, experience the story through as it is. My last thought, and it was more on maybe the lore of how this world might work, was the discussion about, uh... Ether having waves. So, it's been pointed out, and <laughs> down goes Melia, uh, that the uh, sun, or whatever we wish to call it in this, is basically ether, right? So there's real world concept in light where, uh, in the real world, where light is both a particle and a wave. So I wonder if ether might be basically light, but a bit more concentrated, heavily manifested, that sort of stuff. It's more like a fantasy version of light, in a sense, where they're taking some of the uh, scientific actual, like, base concepts and trying to make it work like that. So those were the notes I had from, uh, uh over time. Uh, I will note, I obviously am now having Fiora in here. So, because she seems to be a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, and there were a ton of stuff over in here, uh, equipment-wise, for her in particular, like, so many things. Uh, she really does seem like she's supposed to be a jack-of-all-trades. So I, I sort of want to see if I can make her into a tank a la Dunban. Uh, a few things I notice about her, uh, as you probably noticed at the beginning of the episodes, there was, uh, there was a couple, uh, named enemy fights that I went and did just because I was trying to, like, work through, like, how she worked and stuff like that. Um, one thing to know about her, I did 
use that one trick where you can apparently buy stuff and then load the game. It was pointed out to me quite some time ago, but I haven't really felt the need to use it. Because all her stuff, and there's so much of it, is just so damn expensive. Uh, I ended up using that to get a bunch of her, uh... Get a bunch of her options. Uh, but in general... So she has agility, like, similar to Donban. I'm pretty sure... Pretty, pretty sure... That, um... Uh, pretty sure that her auto attack actually hits twice because she has two weapons? I think I noticed that. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. I'm not even sure if attack... You know, I guess it doubles up because of double attack. Double attack seems like a, a good one to have on her, if I'm correct in that, basically. Yeah. Uh, but in general, I went and got her equipment that um, aggro up haste, which will allow her to attack more often, which I imagine will help get more aggro, then agility to get her agility more on those lines, then double attack and attack plus should be helpful in terms of just hitting hard. Uh, and then for her thing here, I bought the shield one. For the sake of, uh... Because there didn't seem to be any fantastic other options as far as I could tell. I might be wrong, but... For now, I grabbed the shield one as sort of a get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> for aggro stuff. Because I was trying to use her as a tank before I went and bought anything, too. And it seemed to be working okay. So hopefully it's working better now. Her weight actually went down significantly. I believe it was eight or seven before I uh, bought uh, quite a few of these. And it's really being pushed by this quite a bit at the moment. The power one. Which is fine. I'm not sure how much a weight of two to zero uh, ultimately changes, like dodge and whatnot. She seemed like... Uh, I went out and fought with her with the new setup a little bit. I feel like she's having a harder time keeping aggro than she did before changing stuff up, but she's dodging stuff quite a bit more now. I think so, at least. Okay. <laughs> and that's where we are. And if you didn't notice, I changed everyone up to be, um... Uh, their summer wear, because we are, like, sort of in a tropical paradise, yeah? <laughs> at least it sort of feels like it. Hi. Hello. You're back. Have you finished looking around the village? Uh, where should I start? Is this actually a, uh, cutting off point? Well, I might go do some stuff around the village, because I haven't really had a chance to... Uh, I haven't actually really bothered looking around the village proper. Oh, and another thing I noticed while going around. She swims mechanically. Almost like it, yeah. It's it's very it's very very interesting how her uh, little bits about her have changed. The door to your house is broken. That's fantastic. Oh, and um, I do skim these when I go through them. I do typically skim them, uh, even if there's little bits and pieces I might miss. Uh, sure. I will keep an eye out for that. So, are you Mekon? In one sense we are, and in another we are not. It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mechonis. So there is life here, just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban. Great. Please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? 
I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Convenient. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your situation. Particularly convenient. Just as I thought. You were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. Shoot. That's not great. So basically, are they saying they converted her into a machina in a sense? I will take her to my laboratory. The chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk, I'm... Fiora. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. Hmm. Well, she is the essentially medic of the group, so. Okay, well, so much for using her. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Up here. Yeah? So I feel the worry. Interesting. How are you? You do have some nice tech here, don't you? Huh. He's massive. <laughs> I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I... Hmm, well, I'm not gonna say I know no better, but he strikes me, his design strikes me as like a villain. <laughs> we were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the Monado? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Makonis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. Great. He's my son. Oh! Your son? Convenient. Actually... My request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Egil. So how do sons and daughters work in your... How does... How does... um? Well, okay, I guess we're saving. How do... uh? How does that work in... um? <laughs> well, when a mommy and a daddy love each other... <laughs> There's not really many... There's not really very many civilizations to draw from, are there? Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiqua, regent of the High Entia. We all know who you are. You High Entia have kept yourselves safe remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst, but the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Huh. I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to be stubborn, ultimately. Because, regardless of the past, the current situation is the current situation. If it's your best bet, it's your best bet. Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around to the end. 
We, High Entia, were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Aerith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right, you can count on our help. The Nopon will join too. The Hom Hom and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. Okay. Dixon, are you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon! He is well-traveled. Yeah? If you should meet Shulk... What? I have something I want you to tell him. Sure, okay. Hmm. Can't help but feel as though... There's a trap involved here somewhere. You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. There are hardly any of us Machina left on Mechonis. Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynath fought the Bionis for us. In the end, the two Titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynath? The creator of Mechonis. You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. It's all like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Makonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we high end here live far longer than Homs. I get that, but he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Bagil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did, and he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Bagil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynath herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mekonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven. But Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is, this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Rhine. I understand about Egil. But why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mekonis weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanza. You know his uh, name? Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is.
But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> hmm. She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Hom's medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mechon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mechon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mechon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Fiora, leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. What's that mean? So, blood circulating through. Mm, I'm trying to think of how that would work. Her blood circulating through basically the face mech on. Is that what the red technically is? That was the defense mechanism? Is that how they did it technically? They had the blood circulate through, and that's why it applied to the entire mechon rather than, like, say, just the, um, in, like, inside the cockpit where they had them, uh, located? Hmm. Okay. I guess that would make sense. Hmm. Interesting. Immune system, though. So, for an immune system... I mean, immune system is basically a large... A large part of it is the actual blood circulatory system, so... And presumably... Okay, yeah, yeah, it's probably designed in order to circulate, and her immune system was changed so that it wouldn't reject. So you know, like, in real life, when people get heart transplants and stuff like that, their body can reject it because it doesn't, you know, work with their immune system, basically? Uh, basically the same idea. It can be even worse with, like, say, a mechanical heart if they had to put that in. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mechon, so if you were to find some Mechon parts... But where? There's a ton of Mechon around here. Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes ashore the there. You might be able to find one among the Mechon wreckage. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit 5, right? Yes. It gives off a faint red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And we can't bring her with us? Can we not bring Charlotte with us either? Yes. So, piezoelectric. Is that what I'm remembering it is? So, if I remember correctly, piezoelectric is basically the concept of, um... Uh... Stuff that can create currents based on its displacement of, um... So basically, like, you can crush it and that sort of stuff, and based on how it's warping, it'll create different currents based on that. If I remember, piezoelectric is basically referring to that premise. Uh, the answer is basically yes, mind you. It is, in fact, what I thought it was. 
I haven't worked with it as much over the course of my um, education and career, so haven't really thought about that in a long time. If I haven't mentioned it before, I'm an engineer. <laughs> uh, I have a uh, master's in mechanical engineering. That's not intentional, but let's go. I know people are telling me Melia's, like, her max DPS stuff is based on dots, apparently, and I'm just, like, so... Like, I'm, like, it's working so well, just what I'm doing as it is currently. Uh... I have had, like, no problems with it. Maybe later on. As I experiment more. Because I have been trying to experiment with different approaches and whatnot. For now, I'm probably going to be trying to experiment with Fiora than anything, though. I, I love the animation for the Starlight Kick. It has, like, this, like, elegant name. Yeah, it's just fucking, like, fucking takes a charge at them. It's pretty great. They did a good job of... At least on occasion when it's important. Just like... Filling their animations and other stuff like that with just personality and such. One more for a f I've almost collected everything here already. It's impressive. Okay. What can you do? Find the unit? Yes. We did. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo Electric Unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo. Will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, by the way... Yes? The Chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. Yeah, I was about to say, so much for rest. Hmm. Okay. Oh, is the chief not gonna be? Hey, huh? chief, you wanna talk? Okay, I guess not. Not for now, at least. Welcome. Sure, we can take a rest and get out of the rain. Good thing we're not wearing much clothing. Or else it'd be soaked right now. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I... wanted to, uh... Um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes. We agree with you. Egil must be stopped. 
But we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Decompose. I wonder how that works. Yeah, I thought that might be. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? Better question, how did you get here? What's the... How do you travel here? Did you just, like, jump into the water too? How am I traveling up back there for other stuff I can't stuff believe before? you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. Bob? <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world, and we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Are you? Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. We went from thinking about it to thinking about it. Fantastic. Fiora. I guess the PSO electric unit might make a decent amount of sense for basically a cyborg, android sort of situation. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? Hmm... <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the Prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied Force attacks Mekonis, you don't need to join the fight. 
He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikkel, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mekonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Oh, you're up. That's good. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things she needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. <sighs> Still wonder what he's not telling us. It's not as simple as he's been coming here to work with people. That's obviously not the thing that's driving you. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a Machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... We'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. Temporary. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. I wonder if he's like the reverse of Aegle. He wants revenge on the Mechanist or something like that. And he's been conspiring in order to set stuff up, to, uh, in order to do it. Oh, is that him? Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been. Remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. 
Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. Oh, are we gonna fight Ghetto soon? The light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. <sighs> so it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Ah, <sighs> yep, okay, we're gonna fight Edo soon. Fantastic. I'm sorry, Sharla. Ah. Uh... Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada, thank you for everything. Okay. Well, this is gonna go swimming, I'm sure. Ah, I feel like we're running into a trap of s someone's design at the very least. Okay. Just the thing. Memory chips containing records of our lives in Mechanis. They're in Mechanis Fionis. They should help you gain a deeper understanding of our kind. We too would be glad if you could find the memory chips. We'd all like to relive those memories from those days. Interesting. You guys look. So it's probably the face design ultimately, but there's like an organic looking aspect to them. Hmm. And I think that they're probably just given like proper like humanoid faces just for the sake of uh just for the sake of basically humanizing them in the eyes of the player. That's probably the idea. Cool. Fix the door. Physical defense down. Interesting. That seems like it could be situational, but also quite good. What percentage is a number four for that? Physical defense down. I assume that's a weapon one. Hmm. Auto attack 20% chance of lowering it by 15%. It's interesting because when you have stuff like that, where that helps like the entire group, uh, sort of like people were pointing out that um, Dunban has peerless, uh, not skills, but uh, as an art. Apparently this affects everyone in his, uh, the circle around the user, in terms of increasing strength. It also grabs aggro, so that handles the aggro aspect of it, but... But, uh, yeah. It's interesting when you have stuff that just, like, helps the entire group. It would be fun. it would be good for her if she wasn't also trying to be, you know, a tank in how I'm playing here. If anything, this might be better for Shulk instead of an attack plus. Less of an auto attack, but there's the chance he ends up giving everyone higher damage. Probably not better overall, but probably better for aggro management at the very least. Is it awkward if Dunban is the person closest to Shulk? Oh, 
No. No, my. Welcome. Oh no, to do soon the village will be in danger. If we don't end it, what what's gonna happen? Bad things are gonna happen. Oh no. Saw so Mechan really close to the village. Yeah, there's a bunch around here though. Okay. Sure. We can go we can go kill some mecha. I'm using this partly as an excuse to like get used to Fiora a bit more. She doesn't have the most fantastic and strength down five weapon power four. Interesting. Meteor artillery. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm using this, like, she doesn't have the most fantastic of uh, arts at the moment for everything, for doing this. So, what I have up here is this at least seems to help. Uh, I assume it causes lock-on. Basically, it's in a it's a way to make up for aggro being bad at a given moment. Uh, she has a some healing ability. Uh, this is a lot like um, she actually has a lot of similar abilities to Shulk in a way. Uh, this is sort of like a shadow eye without the uh, without losing the aggro. Uh, double play which is back hit which might sound bad for a tank but my thought was uh, was along the lines of if someone steals aggro from me back attack and then I can get aggro back uh, and then the rest of them are just sort of situational or like this where it's not like immensely strong it seems like mostly her arts aren't great for dealing damage it's probably the auto attack I want to use for dealing damage more so than other a lot more so than other, uh, uh, other guys we have in the group at the moment. I want to bring Foon. Sure, why not? Ooh, you'll give, like, more stuff for her. Some strange noises from the silver-faced wreckage on the beach. Too scared to go check it. Yeah, that should be simple at the very least. Armor records. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, sure. I'll, what is a record? Huh. I want to do it just because I'm curious about that. Oh, you're the one I helped with the locked house just recently. Okay. Ah, uh, got back to her as we found that her beloved mechanical flower had wilted. What's a mechanical flower? Good luck with what she needs to return to the former glory. Sure. I could do that. A few things I want to do, actually. It's the cause of the sound. Let's go and tell Prox. External sensor. That's it. That's 100% of what we had. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. Got that. And immediately go and bring it back. That might be one of the more simple quests that we've uh, had. Why would Pure Spring Water... Actually, so she runs on water currently? I still haven't figured out how that works. I get that her internal uh, organs have uh, screwed... Oh, okay. There's more to it? Hmm. Okay. Welcome. What's the sensor? Question answered. And I got the drone thingies. Which is interesting. Yeah. So, her feet are basically the stuff on the back. Uh, I don't know if I pointed that out yet. It's interesting, at least. Oh! There's... Is there nothing? Oh, ether calling. That's the new thing here. Okay. Intriguing. Hi. 
Are you a little mocking a child? Is that how you guys look? And your mom and dad are fighting. Well, that's sad. It's interesting how the problems here are mainly just like humanizing problems or the mech on her attacking us. That's been like all, like almost all the problems in here. Things that are either designed to like humanize them or that sort of thing in the eyes of the player. Or uh, stuff like that, yeah. Happiness Flyers. The fuck is a happiness flyer? Hi there. Did I not finish? Hi okay, there. maybe I need to finish the other quest that he uh, has to do whatever it's asking me to do for that. It's gonna bug me though on the map. Okay, you're gonna offer me what was it? Armor okay. records? The model's so important to you. I'm sure it'll be useful. Armor records. Is that like the books that we pick up? I don't think I know anything. Armor records. The armor menudo art. What now? Learn an art. Learn an art. Huh. Uh, 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 huh. 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 Well, let's level that, that up by a little bit. That might be useful in specific situations. It might be. It... 50% damage down that. Hmm. That could. Could I get it up to. So if it's 5% each, then that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 more, so I'm guessing it gets up to 75% damage down. And uh, it uses a large amount, which is equivalent to. The Buster, which is basically everything, right? Okay, well, I guess it's a bit more situational if it's going to use the entire talent gauge, but... Yeah. Oh, what are you hiding over here for? Uh... Okay. Yeah, this is the mother and father uh, fighting. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's why I had to talk to the other one, too. Yes. I need to do a quest for each of them, basically. Okay. I'm probably not going to do that now. Okay. Is that everything you needed for your flower? Oh, great. Perfect. Okay, cool. You're gonna give me Mikana's key. Interesting. Ether exhaust system and power pipe runes in the fallen arm. Don't tell me I needed to do that in order to. Power pipe runes. How do I get in there? Everything's gone blurry. What? Don't you dare give up. I'm sorry. Well, that just happened. I guess that's the way they made it so you can't go out too far. So how the fuck do I get in there then? Am I missing something massive or something? Oh my goodness. Whew, that's quite a ways down. You could do this! Ha! <laughs> That's faster! Oh, I never had tried that before. On a particularly long one. 
That is so just like defying every single law of damn physics. I guess with her, she might have some like thrusters that might make it make sense. Hello. See you. Huh. Right. Time to eat. Oh, the I was bringing out the food. Okay, I got it. Okay. Deep water fish. Sure. Has apparently another quest yes. pops up. Mechanis Field. Okay. I've done a lot of quests this time. Just out of a desire to do some of them. It's been a while. Uh, when it rains, you can find tears of the sky, not trails in the sky. Uh, on the fingertips of the fallen arm. The sand court is too scared of heights to go fetch one. Collect one for him. Sure. If the opportunity presents itself. It's rained quite a bit while we've been here, so. Okay. Turned and got all the stuff. Man, there are so many damn quests in this game. There's a reason I skim them instead of reading them out loud. Especially with the... Uh, extra stuff. It's also inspected every ten years. Has a bad feeling about this year's inspection. Okay. How's it going? There's a surprising. Looks like we aren't the only ones who survive. His name is Theo. Member of the recon. Never met him, but I heard all about him and uh, stuff. Interesting. How's it going? So there's, uh, people who have just simply fallen down here and are living How's here it going? because of it. Fior, is that you? Oh, is that you, Carlos? Okay, do you know each other? We all thought you died at the Battle of Sword Valley. Oh, that was like a year ago. A year plus, right? Oh, thank the stars. You're really alive. I fell down here from the sword and the villagers helped me back here. Cool. Wow, that's amazing. I can't believe it. I... fall down here? Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, it seemed like the battle was being fought in like the grooves of the sword. What opportunity was there really to fall down here? It looks so different. Wow. Well, a few things have changed about her since then, yeah. Give or take. Happy to see you again. I lost something really important to me. It's the sword in which I swore an oath to my best friend. We enlisted the defense force at the same time. What happened to it? Uh, I think I must have lost it when I fell off the sword. I haven't seen it since that day. Do you mind if I helped you? I mean, it would mean a lot if you would let me do this for you. Kind of feel like it's fate that we met here today. I know I can find it. Uh, sure. Just like when you're... I mean, we had the active quest thing, so sure, why not? I can see why a Vanguard wanted you for the Defense Force. You're rash. Uh, you haven't lost that sweet of your charm. You look for it? Sure. The Oath Sword. Jack Daggers. What's a Jack Dagger? Okay. Is this telling me where I need to go? It might be! Oh, neato! Okay. Thank goodness for Active Quest. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would never have found that otherwise, if it wasn't for this quest, like, leading me towards it. Oh, this is how I get here. And this is where Sharla and... Oh, Ryan were. That's why I have it on my map. Okay. Man, could if I picked this up when I was here with them before? I probably would have seen the glowing red if that was the case though. How's it going? Carlos! Smile, you must have the sword, you found it! This is the sword you're looking for, Carlos. That's it, you found it! It's the sword in which I swore an oath to my friend. Where did he find it? Just some place, honestly. Hmm. That's a crummy sword, alright. It was a massive stroke of luck that it didn't shatter on impact. So do so. I knew I could find it for you. You were right. What have I done without you to sort me out? 
Even if it seemed a bit rash on your part, I'm glad you helped me. Nah. Uh, uh, but now I can upload the oath that I made. I promise protecting Talia for as long as I draw breath. So she's down here too. Was she part of the uh, fighting as well? Sword's really important to you. Glad I worked out for you. I guess it isn't much, but I want you to have my daggers. They're well made, sturdy grips, and will serve you well. I have my oath sword now. I won't be needing them anymore. It's the least to say, thank you for finding it. Thank you, Fiora. Oh, don't mention it, Carlos. It was my pleasure. Yeah, no problem. Jack Daggers. Huh? Fiora's rashness skill branch has been... What? You can get more? What? What? <laughs> uh, attack arts. That sounds good. Turns all counterattacks into critical hits. That sounds good. Doing damage occasionally. Max the talent gauge. That... That sounds good. Turns all double attacks into critical hits. That sounds good. Increases tension level by one when using talent arts. Eh. Sounds decent. I just need to get this up and then I'll... That actually sounds pretty good. I think, yeah, once I get... Uh... Fills part of gauge of two allies are best. No, I think I'm going to aim to get uh, fill this one up, then, uh... Then, uh... Because critical hits. I don't know how counterattacks work in this. Is it just you attack if... Or, like, you get an attack if you dodge, maybe? Let's see. Does tutorials have anything on counterattacks? Nothing obvious, at the very least. Hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, that looks like a buddy. Hey, buddy. Come on, we can do it. I expect nothing short of our very best. Everyone, do your best. Oh, oh. I really like how high. I agree. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. This is the way to do it. Take your eggs. Building within me. Spear break. Come on, we Constantly can definitely do this. Understood. Okay. Oh, so maybe I should just not have killed those guys. Did he just get pushed to the side of it because the enemies pushed him? My turn. Fuck that shit. Uh, what do you, I don't even know what you have available as your uh, element. It would be nice if it said the elemental somewhere where it wasn't completely blurred. Yeah, I got nothing. I basically got nothing. I'm hoping I can get all the way around in the... to get a top of yeah. Holy moly. That ended up being a lot of them. Whoops. Okay, that wasn't bad. Holy shit, so there's reinforcements even after those guys. They just keep fucking gumming. So if I want to pick up anything here... Uh, Okay. Let's stay Finally. I see your strength is the genuine article. Ooh, did I pick up a bunch of art books there? Yes, I did. Okay. Neato. Huh. Someone mentioned something about, uh... There's another one. 
Someone mentioned something about the advanced ones like not being sold or something like that. Or being found on enemies. I don't know if they're not sold though. Let's have another one. Stream Edge. Okay. Okay. Well, cool, cool, cool. Hey, I achieve what you want then? Back on with the Ether Excel system. If, it, if I'd gone as scheduled. Thank you. Thank you so much. I might never have made it out of there if I had not sent you ahead. Ah, oh, what a relief. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, well, good thing. Maybe you guys should, like, gate that place off so Mechon can't, like, just waltz in there in the same way we waltzed in there. Just an idea. Just an idea. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I've done a lot more quests than I thought I would. This should... This should hopefully be an hour, at least. So... Uh, this is probably... I'm probably going to wait on recording more of this for the foreseeable seeable future. So, uh, next time, we head off to McConus Fields. Or whatever it was technically called. What, what did they call it in the quest? Yeah, McConus Field. Uh, okay, so, I'll see you all next time. Where I will probably be closer to your guys' more recent comments and being able to comment on stuff. So, I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone.